welcome back to my channel guys and for today we'll be talking about nursing school interview questions so let's get right into it so um to be a nurse in jamaica you would have to apply to one of the nursing schools that are approved by the nursing council and after you apply to that school you'll be doing an interview everywhere that you go or everywhere that you apply to most of the times you have to do an interview because they want to see the type of person that you are and if you're fit for the criteria of being a nurse or to be a part of their institution right so there are a few questions that i know that are must that they will ask you in your interview and i know that you know you should answer in a particular way so that they will consider you to you know come to their school big disclaimer just because i tell you how to answer this question does not mean you're gonna definitely get the you get into your nursing school but you know i feel like these are the answers that i gave them and they considered me to be a nursing student in their school so let's get right into it the first thing that any interviewer is going to ask you is to tell them about yourself so you're going to tell the interviewer what is it about you why we should consider you to be a part of our institution so normally i tell them that i'm a team player i have good interpersonal skills i have good conflict resolution skills those are the things that i tell them and you know they're wowed um so everybody is good at telling about yourself until they're in an interview it's get it gets really like hard you get tongue-tied they don't know what to say but ensure that you know how to articulate you you um like get a list of things about yourself and you recite these things to like your mom or to the wall to the teddy bear you just practice what to say what specific things you definitely want them to know about you and you know they will consider you to get the job get get the um the position as a nursing student or to get through into their nursing school to become a nurse and this is one of the main questions that they're definitely going to ask you it might be the number one question that they ask you why do you want to become a nurse and i said that i wanted to be a nurse because my my aunt was my role model and she been a nurse for a couple of years and she always shared stories with us so i felt as if i wanted to be a part of that profession when i said that my interviewer definitely laughed because she knew i did not know what i was getting myself into and i definitely didn't know what i was getting myself into from that day guys i'm telling you i always thought about the question that she asked me and how she laughed when i answered i tell her that my grandmother is, is old and i do um apply her eye drops for her from time to time you know so I, fe I felt as if that 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 is what it was it's not okay just erase that was in your mind it's not about just doing vital signs and giving medication it's a whole lot more you take a lot of critical thinking you have to know when something is wrong you have to know what's going on right you are you're a little bit more than that next thing that you will they will ask you definitely is what are the qualities that you possess that you know would make you into a great nurse and you know nurses are honest they're kind they are they treat you with fairness they um they're they're, they're supposed to empower you to, to you know be your best self and they're supposed to empower you to follow great health choices etc they promote health they encourage you to exercise a nurse is a lot of things a nurse is a teacher pharmacist every single thing you can think of so we hold different hats and they're going to want to know if you can fit that criteria as well the next thing that they're going to want to ask you if you are flexible how flexible are you because most nursing students they go to school in summer and you know some people they usually travel in summer but in nursing school you better park yourself because you're gonna have school in summer and you're definitely gonna have school on the weekends. sometimes you have clinicals on weekends so you're definitely gonna want to be a little bit more flexible and say oh i don't think i can make it today because in nursing school you're supposed to complete a particular amount of hours whether you're in the u.s or you're in jamaica you're supposed to be able to complete all of your hours to be considered to do your final examination and these um hours you're gonna need them um to prove that yes you you basically have the basic training of what it means to be a nurse or you have the basic training of you know all the nursing skills that you should be exposed to they also tell what you did in those times because 
normally when you're in the clinical area you're going there to cover certain skills and when you cover those skills they have those on the record to show that okay she knows how to change a urinary catheter okay she did vital signs um interpretation etc you know those things so you're gonna have to be very flexible in order to complete your nursing training because it's very 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 important to complete the hours if you don't complete the hours you can't do your end of um your four year after your four years you won't be able to do that final exam that helps determine if you're a registered nurse or not so be very careful and think about the decision and ensure that you're gonna have your, the time you're gonna have to cancel plans in order to go to school and all of those things because you know even sometimes like there are persons that come here to visit me and i can't even see them because i'm at school like that's just how serious i took school and you know if you're not that type of person sit down and consider it and make up your mind to do it if you really want to be a nurse how can you make a difference we know that in jamaica we as nurses and doctors do not have the required resources in order to take care of persons we don't have beds we don't have sometimes we don't even have the medication but we have to try as best to see how we can alleviate some of those issues you have to tell them that you will be innovative and you will use your expertise and your knowledge in order to make the situation better you need to tell them like i will use um outside resources or, or or reach out to different people that can help in my institution in order to help the facilities or make the facilities better for our patients those things when i tell them trust me sistrin or brethren you are gonna win them over because they have a know-how for, for maneuver around issues right as a nurse you, you're gonna have to make make stuff that are non-existent for example, sometimes we have beds that don't prop up. So we have to get boxes to put behind the beds to prop up the beds for persons that are not supposed to be flat like oxygen um, dependent patients or patients with oxygen issues. Have to prop them up in the bed in order for them to be correctly oxygenated so those are the things that you're gonna have to do sometimes we, we're given IV accesses we don't have tourniquets we use the gloves to make tourniquets so you have to be innovative and you have to you know use those big words to make them know say yeah you have a little sense and a sense can go further than just you know talking you can do you know how to do remember you know an interview is just like a conversation you know so you have to Prove to them so you can do certain things and you can, you know, you know, in a real life, you could have moved a couple mountain. Yeah, you have to make them feel like say a superhero from, from the first day. Because <laughs> more, than, more than likely, you're going to see as a nursing student that really and truly the nurses are required to do a lot of things in their little eight hours that, you know, it's just not humanly possible. But just, just let them know that you you're gonna show initiative when you go out there let them know that you will be a change agent in the workplace and that every minute there's something here that's actually here me <laughs> Lord God. anyways so let them know that you will be a change agent i definitely i'm gonna buy a new ring light best believe i'm gonna buy a new ring light but <laughs> they're gonna ask you why did you choose that particular institution in order to complete your studies and normally you will just tell them like okay my mom went to this school and therefore i was interested in being a part of the institution if it is that that's true the next thing you can can um give them the statistics so the university of the west indies is one of the top universities and all of the courses are accredited so therefore i entrust my future into their hands because i am sure that what i will garner from my tenure there will be useful in my future so those are the things that you need to tell them like they will be like immensely impressed look up some big word in the dictionary use some other fancy word and they will be impressed but anyways guys so as i promised the next video will be registered nurse interview questions so stay tuned for that video and i hope you enjoyed this one you can go ahead and you know further give me suggestions as to what you want to see next thank you so much for watching ensure that you like share comment and subscribe to my channel ensure that you share this channel with other persons that you know you know, are upcoming nurses are some persons that just like entertainment because i do have entertainment here and you know 
thank you for your support that you go over to my page at main Barbary on instagram the link is down in the description box just click on the link go over there and support me i have my new rosemary oil out now in my store i also have the hair glow moisturizer on sale as well both of them are at a reasonable price anyways it was nice talking to you guys thank you so much for tuning in today bye